five, where, he, where his band's opening up. So that's going to be cool. Our, our local musician of the day, Mr. Vince Warner from Beetleville and Rockville will be here today. And the founder of the Blackwater, Mr. Darren Long is here. Awesome. Now this next one, it says hold for them. And Schuler, if you're watching, I hope you made this happen. Hold for Bulldog Bistro, yummy. Okay, we got some great uh, giveaways for you guys today, like tickets to go see Led Zepp again in Bonfire this weekend, and tickets to go to that Steppenwolf concert. I'm gonna take a quick commercial break, and a breath, and I'll back to the buzz, everybody. Uh, my next guest is the most requested guest ever on the buzz. Let's bring in comedian Richard Lee. All right. Richard, how are you, buddy? How's it going? Oh, it's great to be here. Going great, Chuck. It's great to have you, buddy. Great. What's what's new in the world of Richard Lee? Oh, no, nothing new. Uh, just uh, I just got done a show for uh, that anime con. Oh, you at the anime con? How did that go? That went pretty well. It was uh, it was pretty good. Uh, like so, you got up on stage and did a set. How long was your set? It was twenty minutes. You did twenty minutes of comedy? Yeah, it was twenty minutes. Was I, and how, how was the crowd's reaction? Um. It's, it was hard to tell because everybody was walking around, you know, and all the booths and everything and all that. And so, and so some, but after, I, I tried asking after it was done, you know, did you like it? And, yeah. and I saw some people laughing. So, right. So I could tell. Well, that's how you tell when you're a yeah. comedian. If people like your work, yeah. they're laughing. They're all la laughing up there on the Second on the second floor, floor on the yeah. balcony? Yeah. The, looking down. Looking down. Some some people were laughing. Were, were, were they laughing when you were telling your jokes or laughing when you were doing your impersonations? My, my impersonations, I did some Did you have? Did, did you work on my, some new ones yeah, for the show? Yeah, yeah new, the, it was basically for anime, you know, anime uh -huh. jokes. You said you had, you had anime jokes? Yeah. You had jokes ready for the anime yeah. con. Yeah, anime. What, what, what kind of things would you joke about about anime? Like, um... Binge eating and uh, like go, going to the supermarket and binge eating. You go to the supermarket and binge eating. Yeah. And, and that's an anime joke. Well, no, like you, you 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 watch. There's like there's like so many different types of anime, like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon and 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 uh, Attack of Titans. But, and you can't pick out which ones. And then you go. It's, it's the same thing, like. Like your favorite ice cream, like strawberry and vanilla and chocolate chip. So it's like, so you, if you, you think to yourself, okay, I'll finally take chocolate. And then you go to the supermarket and find, okay, I'll take, there's like pounds of chocolate chip. So it's like, okay. So then when you take it home, you get tons of chocolate chip. So you only, you don't eat the whole chocolate chocolate chip, you took a little bit of chocolate chip. Okay, so you're only bit you're binging on chocolate chip. So on the ice cream, right? So someone it's the same thing with anime. You can't there's so many different tiles of it. And you should uh, just Japanese take little tastes of all of yeah, it. Yeah. And then the Japanese animation so there's some so you watch only a little bit of it. You only you don't watch a whole Japanese animation. You don't watch Maybe 15 minutes of it. Mm -hmm. So that's the same thing. You can't binge on anime. Yeah, no, you can't binge on anime. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's your moral to that story right there. Now, that, that your, that's your anime jokes. Did, now, what kind of special uh, impersonations did you have ready for your last gig? Well, I was doing, uh, let's see, I, I was, I was doing, those Weebio jokes. You no, know, I was doing the Weebio jokes. What's a Weebio? Remember, I was telling those Weebio jokes to you. Okay, tell me one. Like, um, you might be a, like, you, you, remember I told you what? Oh, a you might know, like you might be a redneck jokes, yeah. but there you might be a Weebio. Yeah. And a Weebio is someone that likes anime. Yeah. Okay, you might be a Weebio if what? You might be a Weebio if you you have a you have, you have chopsticks you put a chopstick in your hair as a use a hairpiece you put the chapstick in your hair as a hairpiece yeah you use a hairpiece and use use a hairpiece 
a hair piece with the chapstick. Yeah, use it. You might be leave you if. Oh, a chopstick. Yeah. A chop. Oh, I thought you said chapstick. Uh, a chop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, use chopstick <laughs> as a hair piece. Uh, yeah, as a hair piece, yeah. Yeah. And you might be a weebio if you eat sushi. If you eat sushi, you could be a weebio. Yeah. Yeah. You, and you, you, uh, you drive a Japanese car, Toyota Prius. There you go. You're a weebio. <laughs> <laughs> and the car, and the car is color pink. And the car, and the car is colored pink. <laughs> All right. So, uh, are we going to be able to get? Are we able going to be able to get any impersonations out of you today? Yeah. Um, you you want you want to hear um. John Madden and Al Michaels talking about the latest NFL sca scandal. Are you saying do we want to hear a conversation between John Madden and Al Michaels? Yeah. I don't think I could live if I didn't. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. Yo, the NFL is training. Yo, ESPN Sports Center. This is ESPN Sports Center. Okay, I'm John Madden. Al Michaels, yeah. The NFL is training, right? John, Al? Yeah, right, right, right. Yo, with the Ray Rice issue and the Andre Pisa case, yeah, that, it's, a, it's changed, right? Right, Al? Right, right, right. And, you know, because uh, uh, we, we just can't have wife beaters anymore, you know? And, uh, you know, and, uh, Right, right, right. Yeah. Wife beaters? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, concussions. Right, Al? Right, right. You know, uh, and the NFL. And, uh, cause, uh, so we just had uh, a female uh, referee that the NFL just hired. Right, Al? Right. That's is that, on a is that true? Note. On a positive note. So that, that's. That, uh, time, time out. Let's go back to Richard for a second. <laughs> Are you back to Richard? Yeah. Okay. Um, is, did they hire an NFL yeah. uh, female yeah. referee? Yeah, that's tr it's true. They just, just, yeah. Big news, huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You got any gigs coming up, Rich? No, I don't. Would you like some? Yeah, I would love to have some. If you guys would like to have Richard Lee at one of your parties, how do they get a hold of you, buddy? Just give me a call or email me. Okay, what's your phone number? It's 559-975-6812. Uh, Okay. There you go. And uh, what about a joke? Can we hear a joke? Something maybe that's not Weebio related? <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, like, here's a Fresno joke. Uh, okay. Uh, local. Local. Yeah, here's a local Fresno joke. See, uh, Fresno, the Fresno PD is so corrupt that, that, you know, Fresno Police Chief, Chief Foster, lost his job, so lost his job so uh so that no uh it's okay so that if you lose your job you might it's okay you might play for the nfl you lose <laughs> your job. <laughs> richard lee right there everybody you got another joke you want to tell before we go the california california is so dry that jerry, how dry is it it's so dry that jerry Cal uh uh that that um, Cal, uh, Governor Jerry Brown mandated all the all the ants to move to um, Mexico. Well, there you go. It's all in the timing. <laughs> Jokes are all in the timing. Richard Lee, right there. Hire Richard Lee for your next party, and you will not regret it. I'll tell you what. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. When we come back, my good buddy Laura Splotch is in the house. Stick around. Hi, this is Cheryl Calhoun, founder of the Fempreneur Network. Do you really have 21st century skills? If not, contact me today, Cheryl.